So this is Paul Paquin. I'm going to show you how to publish a review in WordPress in SEO optimized format. So as you can see, it's for trustedcompanyreviews.com. And um, this is our staging site where we publish the reviews. And then if everything looks good, we push it onto the production live site. You can see we bring in experts and we write these top five and top 10 pages. And each of these companies have their own review page. So right now we're in the process of reviewing companies in the home warranty industry and then we're going to rank these companies and have a top five or top ten home warranty company page. So right now the review is for Cinch Home Services Warranty. Um, so what I'm going to do first, as a first step, I'm going to log into SEMrush and just make sure our keyword is right. So I'll put in the shortest version of the, home, of the keyword, so Cinch is a little too short because it'll show me stuff like jeans and jackets, but Cinch Home will show me the relevant searches. So I'll put Cinch Home um, and right, and then once I do that, I'll make sure to put my user intent right because Google looks at user intent and we want to speak directly to the searcher so Google knows to show our content. So in this case, this is not informational. We're looking to help someone compare their options and the user wants to investigate brands and services right before they make a purchase, right? Which is transactional intent. So we're using commercial intent. So I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to sort this by volume. The second one here has the second largest amount of volume. So cinch home warranty is our primary keyword, um, but we're going to actually, uh, I'm sorry, cinch home warranty could be our main keyword, but we're going to instead focus on cinch home warranty reviews since that's exactly what we're doing and there's also cinch home war cinch home services reviews but it's a little less volume um, the keyword difficulty is lower which is a positive but i'm going to go with this one right here cinch home warranty reviews as our primary keyword so what we do is we go in um, this is in wordpress right so we're going to simply go in. I'll start from the beginning here. So once you log into WordPress, you're going to go on the Brands tab here, and you're going to simply add a new brand. We're doing brand review pages. So you go in here, you simply hit Add New, and then we're going to make sure we have our, so this is the title, right? So we want to make sure our primary keyword is in here. And then we're also going to make sure we update our meta title, which is what shows up in the search results. So we're going to scroll down using Yoast, and we're going to put in our primary keyword right here, same as focus keyword. And then this is our meta title. So we want to make sure we have our cinch um, home warranty also needs to be in our meta title, and it needs to be in our meta description. But here you can see there's a lot more room, and we want to make it more clickable. So what I like to do is I like to combine. So I'll take this primary keyword and then I'll keep scrolling down. These are secondary keywords. We want to use all of them that are relevant. So we wouldn't want to use careers. That's not really relevant for what we're doing, but we would want to use these synonyms like cinch home services review, cinch, cinch, cinch home warranty review. Uh, we, we'll use this one, cinch home warranty reviews Yelp. Um, if there's a lawsuit, we want to talk about that. Um, so what I'll do in the title is combine a few of these. So we have comparisons. We want to definitely include these in our review. And um, our, our writer is an expert in this industry since cinch home warranty complaints. So what we could do is add something like cinch home warranty reviews. Um, right? See complaints for 2023. Something like that. Also, you can say also see complaints for 2023 explanation mark and we're going to use um, down here we're, we're also going to want to mention this primary keyword or we can use the synonym version of it so cinch warranty review for 2023 by industry expert also uh, compare and then here we can incorporate some of these other ones, you know, also uh, compare 
and we can add some of these other comparisons in which will be included so I'm going to go to the content real quick and just make sure so in this content um, he talks about cinch home warranty plans and pricing so that that'd be good to include in here go like this Boom. cinch home warranty plans and pricing let's see what else and compare cinch you could do something like this and then give a little preview right that's what this is and compare right compare cinch versus See the other one? Choice. All right, so this is a comparison page. So we want to talk to our searcher, right? Cinch, uh, you can even say something like this Cinch Home Warranty Review for 2023 um, is by industry expert. You can have you can even include his name, right? So in our case, you can see here. So just um yeah, so what we'll do here. So I'm gonna show you when when we publish these, this is what it's going to ultimately look like, these review pages. This is another home warranty review. Oh, I'm sorry, this is uh not coming up because I'm working on the staging site and I just entered the actual live trusted company reviews URL. Let me put the staging site URL here. So this is what it's ultimately going to look like. You can see the expert here, Scott. Dylan Westerlin, look his name up online and you will see he's a true expert in this industry. So we can even include his name, right? In, let's get out of here. Cinch Home Warranty Review by Intro with Scott Dillmas. You could say something like, uh, now it's too long, so I'm going to make sure to shorten it. Compare plans and pricing. Compare plans and pricing. Cinch, and then you could say, and Cinch versus Choice Home Warranty. So this is a pretty good meta title and description, as you can see, the Cinch Warranty Review. Of the data of 23 is by industry expert. So you can play with this, right? Also, you can go on to Google and just get ideas. So you can get ideas like if you just type in cinch home warranty, get ideas by the paid ads because they invest millions and in millions of dollars in these paid ads, right? So you can see what they're using because they've tested this stuff. Best and worst companies, uh, best. So you can see what they're using, you can use words like side-by-side -side comparison. You can say affordable home warranty plan. Um, let's just say Scott Westerlin, so it's not so long there. Compare plans and cinch first home choice warranty. We have room, so. As you can see, I'm just playing around with this with BBB info, something like that. The industry expert, Scott Westerlin. Compare plans, cinch for his choice home warranty, and BBB. There you go. Good enough. All right. So you've got the Yoast information in. Scroll back up here. The brand name, right? This is Cinch. Their legal name here um, is just like this. So we'll put the legal name exactly how, how it appears. Okay, on the right here, make sure we have it under, right? This is Home Warranty Companies. So select your category, uh, featured image. I already uploaded this image right here. And by the way, like if you're not a professional designer, you know, you can use Microsoft. AI designer make, helps you create these images. What the heck? Am 
my screen disappeared there. So it helps you create these images really easy. Um, I created this image image within just a few minutes, really. I uploaded this is a picture related to Cinch, and I uploaded it into this template and put some words into it. Um, you can make all types of images. You can make infographics using the content that the writer provides. So here we are. So we put the name in. The rating, okay, the writer here provided our rating right at the top. This is the rating, which is 80 out of 100. So you just put your rating score here, which is 80 out of 100. What's that translate to? That's 8.0. So you put the rating on a 1 to 10 is how we do it. But it's um, the writer will give you it based on a, a 1 to 100. And then that translates into 1 to 5 stars. So let's... Uh, that's how we do it. You put the rating score here based on 1 to 10. Brand website is, where's their website? Their website, so you put their website in, which is right here. Okay, um, simple, simple. Then this is the brand detail. So this is at the referring to is this content right at the top. So this, this is where you put this in right here. So we'll go here, we'll get this content at the top. I'm gonna save this. For more of the bottom we could put it at the top but really you can put it where you want um, we can play around with that but usually on the top I'll include this info this short info here which you know what I have way too many screens open here guys notice when I copied it I pressed on my computer I have a Mac so command option shift and V so it clears the formatting You can format this however you choose. I usually like to have an H2 at the top. We'll see how this looks, though, the way he's formatted it. Um, I like to have whoops, my, my H1, H2s will be all throughout the page as well. I like the way it looks when I bold my H2s. So then we're there, right? And then we're going to upload this image, which is already uploaded again. So we put it as the featured image. Notice the alt text. You have to have your primary keyword or an, a synonym of it here. You can kind of get your funky synonyms in the alt text because nobody sees it just to get it in. Your title, right, should be in there as well. You have to have your title and your alt text is most important, but you need the title as well. And you can put a little description as well. So we'll say check out reviews uh, on Cinch or warranty. Okay, got that. Reviews, uh, full size, 1200 times 628. I'm going to insert that in. So then you're going to just put, put your pros in really easy, one by one. It just goes like this. Again, when I paste it, clear your formatting when you paste it because we don't want the formatting to mess up our CSS that we have. So there's one pro. I click add another. I two. Of course, we need to run all this through the editor and to check for, you know, Grammarly is one of the editors that you can use. We need to make sure all this is copy edited. But our writers are experts. So, um, they do a great job and we usually don't have to make many alters besides making sure, you know, all of our secondary keywords here are in there. And then after we do that, we got to make sure the most important FAQs are in here. So we give our writers the FAQs. You can get your FAQs again. Um, for FAQs, I'll include some informational searches as well. So you can go in here, click that. You'll get a nice batch of FAQs. But you can also put your primary keyword or even just cinch home warranty. See what people auto-suggest, right? It's customer service, claim, BBB. This is what people are searching. So you should have this stuff in your page. Hit search, and you can get some more FAQs right here, right? Just by scrolling down. And looking at people also ask. These you also get your FAQs from. You need at least five to ten FAQs on our review pages. Also, look at the top here. This information, this is all semantically related words that you want to consider including in your content. You, you put your primary keyword in here. We're going to do it this way as well. Scroll down, check these, right? Also, see up top. 
Yelp, BBB, Reddit, Consumer Reports, Google. This is what people want to know about. So this is what should be in your view. I'm going to put these pros in. I'm going to just speed through this as fast as I can because it's just a matter of clicking add row, paste it in. Add row, paste it in. Very easy. So we're going to continue at this pace. Add row, paste it in. Um, that's four, right? He has four. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, no, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going so fast, I skipped something here. Let's see here. We have customers can choose, plan start. So it starts customers choose, plan start. Great app. Make sure we have that in there. Number three. That's what we missed. Boom. That's number three. Number four would be here. And then number five would be here. One more and we're done. All right, so we're pasting. And you do the same with the cons, just continue to paste it in one by one. It doesn't get too much easier than this, right? So with our cons, we're gonna start with no coverage in these dates. That's con one. You can see on the side it says con one. Con two would be warranties lack of robust. Okay. So that's how we're going through it. Wait. And, um, so again, we've given our writers uh, a briefing. Whoops. Wrong place. We've given our writers a briefing with the keywords to include and format so that's why this format um, is fitting perfectly into our WordPress template because our writers do a great job with staying in line with the format that we give them so we have our four cons and then after that this content is all going to go in the bottom section which I'm going to show you so all this is going to go right below that where it says brand details after pros and cons. For now, I'm just gonna copy this in. I'll fix this later. I'm just doing the, going through this quick, but I'd like to add some images in here later. Um, well, the images, the title tags, notice when we upload an image, like the one we uploaded, notice the title tag here, reviews, central warranty, title tags have to be optimized. Also, we like to upload our images to Tiny PNG. You just drag it in, upload it, and it'll it'll make the image basically lighter and reduce the si file size so it loads faster, and then we'll upload it. So we do that, and then after that, we're going to go right into our FAQs, which simply paste into here. We're, we'll not. I'll do the rest of these later. I'm going to do just a few to show you. So you put the question, and then you put the answer. Simple. All very simple. Boom. Very, very simple. So just like that. Now, also we have Facebook URL we like to include. So we'll go into here. Cinch Home uh, Warranty Facebook. So we'll go to Facebook. Add the Facebook URL. Okay. You don't have to add the Twitter. <clears throat> and then we also want to add our schema. So you go to the bottom. This is FAQ schema. Again, very simple. You're replicating these FAQs. So you add the FAQ question one by one. And all you're doing is adding the same thing, but we're adding it down here for the schema. And that's it. Publishing the content. The longest part is creating these images and creating the creative part, right? The infographics and adding to the page some type of creative asset. It could be a video. You have to have some kind of creative asset to make your page stick out from the others on the search results, right? Because if we're looking to beat this page, let's see who's number one. If we're looking to beat this page right here, um, cinch, uh, let me spell it right. So if we're looking to, the number one page is right 
here. I'm surprised Google's showing Cinch at number one. Is that? Oh, that's not Cinch the company. This is a, actually it is. They usually don't show the company's website for when someone's looking up reviews. But you can see here, they did a great job with putting the plans and pricing and reviews. So they optimized it. They did a great job, but we should definitely easily be able to beat these guys here on their own turf. So I'm going to look at this one as a better example because this is a third party review site. You can see the format that they use. Very similar to what we're using. And my point is I want to show you. So they have tables here, which is like a creative where they compare it to other brands. This is excellent. This is the type of thing you want to have. So this is if you can add some type of creative like this to break up the content, make it really easy to understand and, and uh, just easy to read through. <coughs> so that's that. So we're creating this on the, let's get back to the left side of the screen here. So you add the FAQs one by one, just like that. Here though, you need to update the author information. So what we're going to do is simply put his name. And again, um, so we're going to put his name here. You're going to put his title next. In his case, he's not a doctor or anything, but he certainly is a home improvement expert. I mean, he writes for Angie and Home Advisor. He doesn't really have a, a license or building contractor, property manager. You can put on here building uh, contractor and home, home improvement expert, I guess, would be appropriate. And so here you would put if it's a doctor or something, but put a little description, home improvement expert and uh, building contractor. Well, you know, let's just put this. You can copy that same description for this part. It's just an author description. And you can just change it around a little bit. I like to use unique content for every page, even this part. So you can change this around a little bit. Um, Scott Westerlin, uh, it's a home, and it's considered by many to be a home improvement industry expert. Trust computers, right? So we can keep it short. Author URL, don't worry about that. Click the um, image. So just click the image here. You have to update his image. And then you just search for Scott. What's different about trustedcompanyreviews.com is that we only hire experts to write on our site. Home improvement expert. You'll see the, the people on our site are either licensed doctors, usually licensed at their at some regulatory agency in their industry we like to hire licensed professionals so that is what we focus on we look for influencers like we're doing hearing aid reviews and we hired one of the leading audiologists doctors to write the reviews and then so you can leave all this as it is, and that's all you have to do. So you can see FAQ, you put your headline, again, primary keyword. If you want to put a tag, you can. Home warranty company reviews. Um, author type, author type. Author is, is a person, so we'll put that. Um, we can put on here, I'm just gonna put something in here. Home improve, improve. Mint industry, industry expert. And we're about to wrap this video up here in a moment. We're just about done. I'm not going to go through all of these right now with you guys. I just need to continue what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you how to navigate this so that you have the general idea. And um, notice, I'll point this last piece of information out to you. Notice on the page, the secondary keywords like cinch home services void uh, versus choice home warranty you see here h2 
So you have the content is H2, the format is H2 and then content, H2 and then content, and Cinch Home Services Reviews, BBB. So this is all of these secondary keywords that we identified here on the SEM Rush search tool. And um, for those of you who don't know who I am, let me just give you a, a quick preview, Paul Paquin, SCM Rush. I've been the owner of Golden Financial Services for 20 years almost now, but I'm also SEO obsessed. I love it. Um, and we're a fast growing company. So you can see here I've created some of my strategies have been featured on, as you know, SEM Rush, one of the leading websites. I haven't submitted work to them in a while, but this was from like two years ago. So you can see that's who I am. I have a little experience um, in the industry. Um, if, if you're going to the marketing conference here in the next few days, it's actually uh, on the 30th to August 2nd. It's Affiliate Summit East in New York City. I will be there. So if you're going to be attending, definitely look to meet up with me. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. So I'll be at this marketing convention. I'll even be at this first class here, Link Series 1.0. All right, guys. At this point, oh, last thing. Make sure your URL, again, has your primary keyword. Cinch Home Warranty Reviews. That's what we decided on, right? Cinch Home Warranty Reviews. All right, so we're good. So everything looks good. I'm going to hit, hit publish here. And again, this is on my staging site. So this is a staging site we're using. It's not actually going live to the public. We're gonna, we're gonna publish it <coughs> on our staging site so I can show you guys what it looks like. And if something's missing, you'll get a red alert. Obviously we have to go through and finish this up with our FAQs, but you can go through and make sure everything's in place. We didn't add our out route. We'll add links, of course. We need to add um, our resources. Oh, there is one thing I forgot. So remember I told you, here you can add more stuff. You can add disclosure, add sources, so that's where you put your references, and add brand conclusion. So here is where we could put in here this top part, right, which would be the ranking. So here, finish it up because you want to be transparent, right, with how we came up with this. So, so this grand conclusion right here, we turned it on and we can put this. Whenever you copy tables like that, you need to just copy it exactly as it is. You don't clear the formatting like I do with the other stuff. So you have to copy that, copy and paste, just copy and paste. So we'll put Cinch Home Services, and change it up here, uh, review, we'll do review rating. Or you could just do rating. Rating, Cinch Home Services, rating, there it is. So just copy that in, very simple. These are the criteria used to rate cinch home services. All right, publish. Now, our writers know not to use AI to write their content, but you can use AI to help you create an image or get a creative asset. But our writers know you never want to use AI to write your content because it can be detected. So we also, of course, <clears throat> if you're applying for a job with Golden Financial and you're working for one of our websites, make sure that you know when the content comes back, you always want to check and make sure there's no AI. So we use, since it's not 
no tool is guaranteed. So what we do is we use multiple tools. So I'll use three different AI detection tools. And if all three say there's no AI, then, that, then you're, that's a good indication, right? So if it says 100% of the content was written by a human. So look here, I tried to publish it and it says one field missing. Oh, we forgot to add the logo. So I'm glad that happened. So um, we go in here, I, I saved the logo on my desktop. Now I'll go in and do another video if you guys want on how I create the images and just show you from scratch. But we're actually looking to hire a designer. So our images are all gonna get an, a facelift and they're all gonna be professionally designed here in the near term. We've got a couple applicants that look really good. So we are using, we are creating the images on our own right, own right now, but that's about to change. So just put what it is. Always fill this information in. So what we have this tool here, Smush, it automatically, you can see two images reduced by 2.8 KB. So you can see, we don't use the, the image optimizer tool I showed you earlier because we have a plugin that does it. All right, let's publish it again and see if it works. We should be good this time. All right, there we go. So this is what it looks like. Here we go, guys. Right, it takes a second. When you load it for the first time, it doesn't look right on the staging site. All right, we're missing something. What are we missing? I'm not the author. So let's go back here. Let's go to dashboard. See how the rating shows up right there? Um, yeah, we can go to... Remember, this is under not under reviews, but it's under brands. The reviews tab is for a different category that we have. So we go into the brands. Um, I'll go, I'll type it in. So this is Cinch, I'll type it in. To update the author, all you do <coughs> is do a quick edit right here. So you just do quick edit, update it from myself to our author, Scott. Update that. So now we can view it. And voila, there you go. Again, um, that's what, that's how it looks. So you can play with this, you know, as the SEO. If you're going to be working for us and doing this, you can play with this to improve on what we have. Table content makes it easy to just scroll down and read what you want to read. See these? We have to finish this part and see how the rating shows up. We copied that in and it came out really nice. So that's how that works. Got you out there, there. And that's it. I'm going to close this video up. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a few things. Thank you. Have a great day.